Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Hope you guys are doing well. So anyway guys, what I want to talk about this video is a question I feel needs to be brought up. And it's a question that I feel needs an answer. And it's an answer that literally you guys can give me. You guys out there can give it to me in the comments down below. Okay? Here's the question. Should WrestleMania be a one-night or two-night event? Depending on your answer, we'll proceed. If your answer was this, one night, congratulations. You actually know what you're talking about. Because then it makes the, comp then it makes the WWE actually put on matches, you know, where they're actually planning on something. Where they're actually building up to something. And they actually, you know, do this payoff where what happened at the last event is paid off at this event, at WrestleMania. But unfortunately, if your answer was this, I don't know what you're thinking. Because honest to God, this is too much. Two night WrestleManias are too much much and let's see matches make no sense storylines are going nowhere the, the show honest to god is too long and most people actually want two night Wrestlemania's are you kidding me why would you want why would you want this and have the show be over eight hours long or even longer when you can have this and have it be around this many hours long. Yeah, why? Why would you want this and have it be over have it be seven or more hours long altogether when you can have this and have it be around four hours long or maybe a little longer of course yeah why would you do that that doesn't make any sense to me again let's go over this number again okay you have this many nights of wrestlemania it's around this many hours long makes perfect sense all the matches are done and the show's complete. And the storylines probably go somewhere. Whereas you have it be almost this many hours, maybe a little bit more. And the storylines go nowhere. Nobody's career gets advanced. The title wins don't mean anything. None of that. So that's why I'm asking people, should WrestleMania be this many nights or this? I want to hear from you guys. Is it my opinion? There you go. That's all the, that's all the nights of WrestleMania you need. One. This two-night garbage is one night too many. You don't need a two-night event for something you can get done in this many nights. So again, here's my here's why here's how to fix this two-night nonsense. Okay, take a look at the whole card. See if there's any match you could just you could just trim out. See if you can fit the show to around to around four hours long. Problem solved. They just put it on sedan. There you go. That's all it is, people. It's that simple. Find matches that have no reason to be. Take them out. 
and see if we can get the show to, to, to around this length of time, to around this many hours. Okay? And there you go. That's all you need, people. You only need one night of WrestleMania. You don't need two, because this two-night garbage has gone on long enough, and it needs to stop now. It needs to go back to this. To one night WrestleManias. And I am so sick and tired of people saying, Oh, it's because they're bringing in more money. <laughs> Fuck you. As far as I'm concerned, just because it's bringing in more money doesn't mean the product is getting any bit better. Because it's not getting better. Think about it. Think about the first problem that WWE had. Oh, it was hiring somebody whose name I will not mention, but they hired him sometime in 2002, I think, or maybe it was, yeah, it was sometime in 2002, had his first match sometime in 2003, the guy thinks he's a legend and he's clearly not. Guy thinks he's won sixteen world time sixteen times. Thinks he's won a world title sixteen times. He hasn't. He hasn't won a single one. All his success handed to him. None of it his. None of it. So therefore, guys. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. You need to get rid of this. You need to get rid of one of these two nights. One of them's got to go. Either have this be WrestleMania or have night two be WrestleMania. Don't have both because there's no point to this. This. There you go. Then you'll have a better show. And, the, and let's just say the story's going to make more sense. The title wins are going to be more. Oh, and he, oh, let me say this before I forget, you guys. I've said this before, and I'll say it again, and I'm going to keep on saying it until somebody finally gets it. In this, in, this lat, in this ladder match at WrestleMania for the tag team titles... Have both sets of tag team titles hanging above the ring. The winning team is the team that actually caught, that actually climbs the, climbs the ladder, grabs the tag team titles, and then you take one half of those tag team titles and throw them in the garbage. And there you go. Done. Problem solved. Wow. How hard was that? Wasn't well, that's not that hard. It's not that hard to figure out. It's not that hard to solve this tag team title problem. Same thing goes with the WWE Universal title and any other and the World Heavyweight title. Again, unify them into one title. It's not that difficult, people. It's not that hard to do. No, it is not. No, it's not. Use your brain. Think. Again. Have both titles on the line. And the winning and the winner gets what gets one title. And that's the title. That's the only title you need. You see? You see guys? I can solve these I can solve this title problem like that. Again, SmackDown and Raw tag team titles hanging above the ring, climb the ladder, grab both sets of tag team titles, take one set, garbage. Problem solved there. Intercontinental title. Get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that eyesore we have now. And bring back the one that was held by held by greats like 
Macho Man Randy Savage, Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect, Razor Ramon, Jeff Jarrett, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, guys like that. Bring that one back. What is so all fire hard about taking a title that means something and actually use it? What's so all fire hard about that? Nothing. There's nothing hard about that. It's that simple, you guys. It's as easy as get it? It's as easy as one, two, three. It's not difficult, people. See? Again, let me explain. Let's say you have this let's say you have this title. And it looks real good. And and it's and it's iconic. And people like it. What's what's the what's the reason to get rid of it? Nothing. There's no reason to get rid of it. Then you have this other title that's really kind of ugly, kind of looks the same as the others, and really has no reason to be, and is pointless. Yes. Yeah, so what's the point? What's the point in having that title? Plain and simple. Bring back the good one. Get rid of the garbage. What's the problem here? I'm not seeing the problem here. Again, take the good, but get rid of the crap. That's all there is. That's all it is, people. That's all it is. It's that simple. Yeah. Again. Get rid of the 24-7 title. Bring back the hardcore title. What's so hard about that? What's the problem? What is so all fire hard about actually having good championships instead of ones that actually look like that, that are just plain boring? So everybody else, so people want titles that look the same, are boring, and have no reason to exist, instead of titles that actually look good, and actually are remembered real well, and make a lot of sense to have actually existed. That makes no sense to me. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that WWE should get should go wrestle should have this many nights of wrestlemania or are you guys still the insistence that they do this in my opinion what do you guys think go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments down below while you're at it like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe, share this video around, click the bell to be notified of future videos, and yeah, so I guess that's about it, you guys. So guys, till next time, later fam.